Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm John. What's going on, everybody? I'm Steve. Deuce. Two. <laughs> um, first one had me, had me invested a little bit. Yeah, I like it so far. I like what they're. I like the the outlook with this. The concept of it. Yeah, I like. I don't want to call it pure magic because it's not like pure magic, but like the alchemy seems to be like a cool concept behind it, you know? Yeah, and I, like it's a lot of like the symbols and stuff, so I wonder what that is. That's what I mean. Like, there's and more then I to wonder it. what that little ball was <clears throat> that came out of him. I bet you that's like the. I, I, thought, like I, I thought it was just like supposed to be like, I thought that was just supposed to be like a drop of his, his last bit of blood and it just evaporated. I don't think so. I think that was uh, probably what gave him some kind of magic or or the philosopher's stone or something like that disappearing. Yeah, I don't know. Because they did say he had one, right? Yeah. The stone, right? And used it. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that's the thing. I, same way with Attack on Titan when we first started. Like, I have so many questions. I feel oh, like yeah. overwhelmed, you know? There's going to be so many for a while, probably, too. Yeah. I'm more focused now, like, trying to get into the characters now. As well as processing everything else, you know? Yeah. But they only give you so much at the beginning. What were the brothers? Uh, Ed Edward and Alphonse. What was the last name? you remember? Elric. Elric. It's a cool name. But not as cool as Roy Mustang. That is one of the coolest. That is a cool name. I don't know why. It's just a cool name. Uh, it sounds like if that's your name, you're a bad, like a badass. Yeah, you, know? you better be. <laughs> you should be. <laughs> with that name. All right, let's watch it. Let's do it. You guys want to watch the next episode early? Go check out our Patreon. We have that there as well as full length. Alchemy, the science of understanding, deconstructing, and reconstructing matter. Okay. However, it is not an all-powerful art. In accordance with this law, there is a taboo among alchemists. Human transmutation is strictly forbidden. But what could be the value of a human soul? Okay. That's that a was lot. a nice little intro. Yeah. Thank you, show. <laughs> it was much appreciated. It was greatly appreciated. <laughs> hey, is there a lot of questions? Oh, yeah, it did. So now I'm assuming the brother got sacrificed. And then he sacrificed his arm. It, that, that was with the... Okay, yeah. You know? They said it's unforgivable, but... Who knows? But it seems like it's unforgivable because it's outlawed. Is what they kind of seem to say. Right. It's outlawed because it's probably like some kind of like dark magic. Right, you know? exactly. Celestial stone that destroyed the city of Xerxes in one night. City of Xerxes. It goes by different names, but it's always the same thing. Some kind of object that amplifies alchemy. And that's the philosopher's stone. Just get our hands on it somehow. Like... Yeah, books! No, he did lose an arm. Mm. Al? Yeah? I think I have a good feeling about this one. Mm. Me too. Hmm. Ed. Ten years earlier. Where are you? Good. More answers. Here, watch. <laughs> oh my, that's alchemy, isn't it? <laughs> Did your dad teach you that? How can he teach us anything if he's not here? Right. We read about it in these books. I can't believe you've done this. Self-taught. The summer of that same year, an epidemic swept the country. The sickness came, and it took her. Damn it. Mm. Hey, brother. I'm hungry, aren't you? That bastard doesn't care about us. He's not our dad. He didn't even come for Mom's funeral. Mm. You know, there might be a way we could bring Mom back. But I thought it said in all the books that using alchemy to make people as... Oh, is that what it was? Do you think they were trying to do something crazy with alchemy to bring her back? talk anyway every time your parents go away somewhere you cry like a little baby uh, I, I do not i don't are you sure real dick move <laughs> yeah i'll see you later dickhead <laughs> i'm going home to tell grandma not to make you any dinner hey what are you gonna do that for <laughs> hold up yeah wait for us Thank he's like i didn't mean it if you don't drink it, you'll stay short forever. Me like you, you sawed off old head. Little half pint midget. Shake down mini wedge. Broke pee wee. Baby and babies of atomic shrimp. 
<laughs> Damn. No wonder he doesn't like it. Yeah, right. Someone came up with the idea to pour milk into vegetable soup for the first time, right? That's a leap of imagination. The kind of scientist needs to be able to make. That was the armor in the background. You saw it. Sure, it is. Must be their dad. It took years of constant effort, but we wanted to see Mom smile again. We wanted to go back to our lives with her the way they used to be. That's what drove us. It's always some dark, depressing thing that drives these guys. Yeah. In all these shows. Damn it. Hey, this is it, Hal. Obviously, this is not going to go the way they thought. Oh my god. Oh, it's like all little hands. What was I doing? I just... Help. What the hell? Who are you? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. You have dared to knock on the door. Now, the door is open. Oh. Quiet, child. Is this what you wanted, isn't it? I see why it's outlawed. Trippy. This is some trippy ass shit, Holmes. Damn it! This can't be happening. It can't be. This is what we saw before. And then right? He's gonna do it again. What the hell? Is that his mom? something, Roy. Why'd you decide to make Ed a state alchemist anyway? He's just a kid. I mean, military life isn't easy, you know. That boy's gonna have to go through hell someday. You and I have certainly seen our share. You didn't even answer him. <laughs> yeah. Gotta wave. Where are the Elric brothers? I want them found! Oh, hush, Dan. Don't bark at our guests. Yes. <gasps> She's so small. So small. You have no reason to come marching in here. The last thing I expected to find was a boy skilled enough to attempt human transmutation. Or advanced enough to bond his soul to a suit of armor. I'd say he's more than qualified to become a state alchemist. <laughs> Should he choose to accept... Sees his potential. He'll be required to serve the military in times of national emergency. What was there? Whatever that thing was, it wasn't human. Alchemy created that abomination. It nearly killed them. That was creepy as hell. Lieutenant? Just Reza, please. It's Reza Hawkeye. Nice to meet you. Reza? Reza? Lieutenant Reza? Have you ever had to shoot anyone? <laughs> Whether to move forward or stay still. Will you sit in that chair wallowing in self-pity? Or will you stand up and seize the chance the military can give you? It's their choice. Oh, Roy boy is going to talk him into it. If you believe the possibility exists for getting your bodies back, you should seek it out. Keep moving. That boy. I've never seen anyone look so defeated. That's what you saw? No. There was fire in those eyes. Mm -hmm. Roy Mustang, he's uh, climbing up my list of favorites so far. Just hang in there a little longer, okay? Then we're gonna get you your body back, I promise. Right. And while we're at it, we'll get yours back, too. All making more sense now. <laughs> I 
He's got that drive. Seems like you're in perfect shape. Yeah. Brother! Yeah, I'd say that's right on the money. <laughs> that's sick. You didn't even use a transmutation circle. So you didn't see it, did you? See what? Uh, never mind. <laughs> I want to know what he learned, though, you know? Yeah. Like, more about, like, that. Who's he? You idiot. That's His Excellency Fuhrer King Bradley. Not impressed. Thank you. You may proceed with the examination. <laughs> Not even using a transmutation circle. You pulled that from the ether. That's good. You clearly have nerves of steel, young man. <laughs> but I'd say you still have much to learn about the world. Hmm? <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Good luck with the rest of your exam. <laughs> that was cool. He's quick with that sword. You, Real quick. <laughs> I didn't even see, you didn't see it. Full metal. That's right. Along with their commission, state alchemists also receive a code name. Officially, you will now be known as the Full Metal okay. Alchemist. I get it now. More. It's more of a title thing. It's nice and intimidating. <laughs> I think that'll suit me just fine. <laughs> I love how he loves that. Hey, wake up. We're almost there. That's cool how they caught us up like that. Yeah. So that's where you are. Could it really be there? The key to finally getting Al his body back. The Philosopher's Stone. Unlucky. That was a good one. I yeah, thoroughly, that was. I thoroughly enjoyed that one. That one was. Uh, they answered really a lot. Good. That one. That was really good. Yeah. Definitely First of all, the that. opening was perfect because it literally answered almost <laughs> what like exactly half of our what alchemy is. Yeah. What, what they're doing. And, and then by the end of that, I was like, oh, I just felt like I understood things so much better. So at the much end of better. That one. I think it's because we're not used to being told answers so quickly. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. <laughs> That's but yeah, true. no, that was awesome. And like, so now, now, like, I understand Edward. I understand how. Yeah, you understand their um, motives now. Edward can't do everything. He's just able to c do alchemy without, without any symbols. Essentially, just way faster than everyone else. It's what it seems like. Without animal. any symbols, he's just smarter right. and, and understands it better. And that's just because he got that knowledge done that, that was, from that. Which was really being, interesting, whatever that thing was. From yeah. God, the universe, whatever you want to call it. That was an, I, I love the way that scene. That was really cool. And then it, the fact that he was retaining all this information, like it was just getting downloaded, kind of like Matrixy, you know, mm -hmm. which is crazy. And then he knew that he did, he can do human transmutation. He was just missing something. I oh, yeah. What he did he say? figured that out. He wanted to take another run through the knowledge so he could remember. And he's like, are you kidding me? Oh, OK. Yeah, right. But. Yeah. And then he gave up his. So that that took his leg. And then he gave up his arm for his brother. Yeah, for his brother. He had to, to do it the second time. The, right. Exactly. He had a rough go of it that that night. And then way that mother, it was so weird how like the mom came back as like this like creature. Yeah, like this fucked up zombie creature. creature. But I think that's like I want. I was wondering. I was thinking about that. Like I was wondering if that's because it took him years to be able to master it. Like. I wonder if it has something to do with like your actual physical body. Like you can't let it deteriorate that much. Like that's how it came back. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, because they took forever to do it. Right. Like if they did it like the day after I she died. Like, I wonder if it was, she would have came back looking more like her. Right. I doubt it. Yeah. I think that's what he meant when he was saying that he was still missing something. But that's probably why he would. If he does what you, what does he thinks the difference going to be if he. So he thinks just by getting this philosopher's stone that that's gonna like just I think, magnify his power to be able to get the brothers out of that thing, out of the suit. I think to get his body back, yeah. Yeah. But I don't know how. Like, what is the? How does the philosopher's stone play into that? You know, like well, I, making I, him achieve it. I, I don't know. Maybe it gets him back to. It gets him back to that point, but with more power. That's what I'm thinking. So yeah. that he doesn't have to sacrifice. 
maybe he can fight. Uh, who knows? Maybe he thinks he can fight that guy. Or whatever that creep. You know, I mean, whatever. Or... If you even can. I don't know how. <laughs> that thing was it's weird everything. as hell. It's everything, you know? Right. That's what he's saying. And I, I do seem to take that literal for some reason. Yeah. I don't know why. But he is, yeah. Look what he did to him. He sent him into these things. He gave him all the knowledge of the world. I want to know, yeah, like, was it literally that? Like, they gave him all of that knowledge, so, like... That's why he's so much better. That's what he was saying to his brother when he was like, you can't do that? And then he was like, oh, that's right, you didn't say... I'm just trying to think, though, because he wasn't, like... When we saw him fight last episode, it didn't seem like he was, like, that good, you know? He seemed like he was pretty good, but he, like, was having a tough time with the... He got... He had gotten him, but he's still a kid, so I think he let That's his what emotions I'm, get the best of him. That plus, he's just, you know, still inexperienced, you know? Like, yeah. he can only get better from here right, on Right, he's in. just... He's practicing. He's going to get better. Especially but, if like, that was, like, that was home. the difference between... Isaac ha- was, like, drawing these symbols all over the place... Had him on his arm and stuff where he doesn't need it. Well, yeah, you see the guys that have him on their hands and stuff. Right. All of them do. Yeah. Except him. Right. That's the difference, yeah. And maybe the fear. That guy's crazy. Awesome. (laughs) It's so weird to say I love the fear. (laughs) It just isn't a good sentence. Um, But yeah, because like that scene, first of all, he did it to the guy Isaac in the first one. And then this one, I didn't even see him. He didn't even move. (laughs) He didn't even move at all. No. Because if we just saw him go like that and he was just standing there. Yeah. And then all of a sudden it just slides off like, at like once he walked away. Like a minute or two later. Yeah. And then the sword, you see the sword at its right side, but they did a good job at hiding it on his right Very side. Very good job. Yeah. That was cool. I like I like that whole like little scene. What a ballsy little kid he is. I'm just trying to I'm still trying to figure out like what is there still anything to what Isaac was saying about the corruption? Or like not even corruption, but like I forget what he said exactly, but he made it seem like there could be, like, there is probably shit going on behind the scenes. But everything so far about the fear seems like he's, like, a decent guy. But that's what we, we've seen. Yeah, we haven't know? seen too much of him. Yeah, um, I, I think there is going to end up being something to it. Oh, yeah. For sure. And then I'm imagining, too, if he does get this Philosopher's Stone now, like, if he does that, they're going to be pissed off. <laughs> I'm a little pissed about that. Because he's, he's, like, doing this just to get that stone and, like, figure it out for I himself. Think so. You know? I'm not sure. Like, it's not really in their interest. See more. Maybe. Maybe he's not. What else? Or maybe he's, you can use it for both. He'll do that, and then he'll be well, able to help. I need to know. That's the only thing that one didn't answer, which I'm fine with because I answered so much. But, like, like I want to learn more about the Philosopher's Stone, you know? Yeah. Or I have to go back and rewatch what they said at the beginning, too, like that little intro, because that did answer. They said something about the Philosopher's Stone in that intro. I just don't remember what it was exactly. I, f- I feel like the only thing was that it amplifies your power. Okay, maybe that's what I'm that's thinking That's what of. I think it was. Yeah, because when they they were like, they had like the open book and it was like showing it. Yeah, I think you're right. I think he was yeah. just like, the, all they, they even said in the thing, all that we know about it is that we don't know much, but. I think so. I, and I, that's the thing. I like the like the two brothers because you have like the, the sweet and innocent one in this crazy suit. And then you have this one that, Ed, it's like, he's like totally. Yeah, well, now Driven, I, I want to find out because the mom said, like, oh, you're definitely taking after your dad. So well, we his dad's got to be some kind of alchemist, right? And I think that suit must have been his, too. I'm wondering if it's from the intro, the blonde guy that they kept showing. I was wondering that, too. Because it kind of looked like him a little bit. And they kept and showing who knows him. if it was, yeah. I wasn't sure if it, that guy was the same guy that Isaac was trying to raise. I don't know if he would know that. Hmm. Oh, I wonder if that's the same. Yeah. Well, he they wouldn't know. They don't know him too much, right? At, or at all? Who? The dad. Ed and Al. Yeah, the dad. They just said he's never really there. Right. I assume they knew him, know him a little come, bit. He didn't even come to the mom's funeral and stuff. Like, yeah, he hates yeah. him. So I, there's a chance they might not even really know what he looks like or anything like that. You know? Yeah. So people might not even know that they're his kids. So that guy could be somebody important. And we won't even find it. Like, we like might a not real know, important you know? alchemist. But like a bad guy, you think? Could be. I, I was, he could I, be the one that I Isaac was like that. trying to raise. Oh, I see what you're saying. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, because it just that's why he's we only saw maybe. eyes. Maybe he did something like in the past, and like he, could be. He never he wanted to be there, but maybe he he's didn't. definitely going to be like the offspring of a, of another super powerful alchemist, and then he's just double as powerful. I think, unless he's just only that. Super powerful because of the knowledge that he gained. Right. But I'd have to imagine somebody else had to have tried. Because he doing was, it. but he also was, Ed was gifted though, as like. 
Well, yeah, because he was doing it as a little kid, and he yeah. taught himself. Just but the mom the made it seem like you were like a natural, like you said. Like yeah. she was like, "Oh, you must take after your father." And Al was was able to do it too. Right. I don't know if he was able to do it as good. I guess he probably was. He, you know? They both got to the same spot. He just got eaten by like the hands. Right. Which was weird. Yeah. That whole scene was so creepy. It was. Because I, I didn't even realize like that they showed until they, later on that they showed that the mom was like turned into that creature. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't notice that either. I don't think we saw her until after we came back. Yeah, they didn't. They purposely didn't show her. Ugh. I don't. Gross. I like that one a lot though. That one, yeah. I'm happy they answered so much. Me too. I have something better to think about now. <laughs> anyway, guys, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel. See you next time. See you later.